Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here and the time has finally come. It's time for us to pack up the LEGO city known as Brickmanton because we are moving. And actually the first thing we have to do is go to Walmart and buy some large Ziploc bags for the trees, minifigures, tiles, everything like that because I wanna do it in a very neat and tidy and organized format. So first we're off to Walmart here. And of course we're gonna check out the Lego aisle real quickly just to see if we find any great Lego deals. And then we're gonna come back home and start packing up the Lego city. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna get some of these extra large bags right here. Look at how much stuff they can fit in them, not bad. And then some of these regular freezer bags right here that should, uh, that should do, I think. Now we're in the uh, Lego aisle here. Just doing a quick breeze through and then we'll go home and pack up the city. Hey, they got Mandalorian battle packs in. That's pretty cool. And I don't really see any deals here. Plus we've done a few shopping trips lately, so my wallet is very thankful that there is no really good deals here. Although this is the Walmart where I found the hospital for a good price, but let's go home and let's start packing up Lego City. We've got the large Ziploc bags safely procured. And what we're probably gonna do for this uh, breakdown here to start is take this train track down and pack up all the train track. And that's why I needed to get these huge bags is because then I can put all the track and all of these girders into uh, one of those bags as well. Then we're probably gonna collect all of the minifigures, put all the minifigures into a bag, get all of these vehicles put into trays. I actually use large uh, baking sheets. My wife uses them for cooking. I use them for Lego. And then all these trees and poles or, or the light poles will go into a bag as well. And then at that point, all of the vehicles, all of the minifigures, all of the trees, essentially all of the detail will be gone. And then I can start to remove the row of tiles that connects the buildings to the road plates and then remove the road plates, condense the buildings, remove all of the base plates here from the amusement park, shift all the buildings over onto this table here, and then hopefully get rid of this table and the tables that lie underneath. And then ultimately in the end, what we're gonna be left with is that all of these buildings will be condensed right over here onto the table where the amusement park is. It's gonna be quite the task and we're actually gonna be filming it all, uh, time-lapse format using my GoPro here. And we're actually gonna be um, doing this all in a live stream as well. So I know the day has already gone by where I've been doing this, but if you look, there is a back catalog video in my live stream playlist where you can see all of my live streams where we actually do this live while I chat with you guys. So this is the last look at Brickmanton right now. This is the last time you're gonna see it like this and we're gonna take it apart right now and touch base after it's all disassembled. Enjoy.
So now all of the buildings and structures that used to be in the LEGO city are now on one table here. So this one is completely empty and we're ready to deconstruct this one here along with the table underneath which used to have the train yard in it. In addition to all the sets on this table here there's also a few boxes full of trains and train track vehicles also two large ziploc bags full of train track bags full of minifigures and parts and much more let's go ahead and get this table out of the way here and then we'll have a more in-depth look at the nice tight compact lego city over here got the top sheets off the table there it's just the frame left table number one gone now we just got to do the ones that are underneath Wow, this room feels a lot bigger without that table there, I'm not going to lie. So I've put all the parts and pieces in the center of the room here where that table used to be. And you can see there is a lot of base plates that came off of those tables. Holy cow, there's all our road plates there. I've left all the tiles on just so when we reassemble Brickminton 2.0, which will be coming in the not so distant future. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to reassemble. Also, we got all of our large uh, 48 by 48 gray base plates there that were used in the train yard. Right here, we got a bunch of sand base plates. These actually weren't being used in the city, but they will be uh, used in the future city because we're going to reintegrate an ocean and also an underwater area. So those are going to come in handy, especially because these are actually discontinued. They're no longer selling those at the Lego store. Also, I've kept all of these one by one circular tiles on a lot of these plates. Those were all the base plates that were found in the amusement park. I don't think Future Brickminton is going to use one by one circulars. Although they do look really good, they were a nuisance. Every time I wanted to change anything in the amusement park, it just took a lot of time. Right over here, we got all of our trains. These are all the trains that were found in the train yard and also going around uh, the Lego City and also all of our ballast track modules there. Uh, those are on uh, 16 by 32 stud uh, base plates. Then we've got all of our vehicles. I know some of you guys aren't gonna like this. I did say I was gonna use the, um, the, the baking sheets, but I just threw them all into the Tupperware there. They don't move around a whole lot. They don't shift around a lot. They're packed in there pretty good. And then when I reassemble the Lego City, we'll just pull them all out of there and place them into the Lego City. There's a bunch of my sorting trays here with a bunch of miscellaneous uh, plants and stuff like that. And then right here is our two giant Ziploc bags that we got at Walmart earlier today with all of our track that's not in use right now. And of course, this will all be used in a future layout. Check it out when that table's gone there and you can see all the shelving, which is pretty cool. Obviously, the bottoms of it are not as full as the tops because there was no visibility there. And here's the infamous pool table. The pool table will not be coming to the uh, to the new house, so uh, we will not have to have the Lego tables this tall. You can see how tall they had to be. It was over three feet tall, so when they come up this high, it's it's a little harder to see everything because you're sort of it's hard to see over and down. But when we're going to have them when the new Lego City layout, we're going to have them this tall, which is actually about a foot shorter. And then we're going to be able to see everything in the Lego City. You'll be able to see all the buildings better and all the detail on the streets better. Not only that, but it's going to allow us to build upward off of those tables uh, so that we don't get too high. So if we wanted to put a second tier on these tables, it would just get a little bit too high, um, but not with those other tables over there. So you can see we've got the roller coaster, the Disney castle, Ferris wheel, Disney station, uh, carousel, hospital, uh, train station, all the modular buildings, like this beauty right here. It's cool seeing it up close. Usually I just see it in the city. Uh, all of my modular buildings, they are dusty. They need to be dusted, folks. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I deal with dust. Well, there is a lot of dust on these buildings, uh, especially the ones that were in the center of the table. And when we rebuild Brickminton 2.0 in the new place, all of these will be dusted. These are real bad, like <laughs> real bad. And uh, they've got a protective film of dust on them. We got the Pal Cinema, uh, a bunch of other ones there. Of course, we got Sig Tower there, uh, the Crane, the Office Tower, 
the Avengers Tower, which will grow in the new layout as well. Then we got this thing that was underneath the Lego City here. This is the factory. Um, the uh, cafe corner. Then we have the uh, town hall there, Parisian restaurant. Of course, the Ghostbusters HQ right over here. The mock train station. The triple pet shop. Townhouse portion of it. And yeah, then there's all the sets on the walls all along here. Just underneath the pool table here, we got all my sealed sets that are ready to be built in the new layout and in the new, uh, the new house. Um, I'm not gonna build any of these because they're a lot easier to move like this. For example, I would have loved to integrate this into the amusement park, but it just took me a little bit too long to get. I am moving on August 4th and it's a little easier to move when it's like this. I just pick up this box and bring it to the next place. I don't have to worry about it falling apart in the truck ride over to the new place. So yeah, stay tuned for Brickmanton 2.0. It's coming out in the very near future. I hope you guys like this deconstruction of Brickmanton 1.0 essentially. And stay tuned. Give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, if you have any suggestions, then uh, make sure you let me know by commenting below as well. And have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and we'll see you again. Bye for now.